Welcome to the ESPN FC 100, our list of the best players and managers in the world. We've broken down the players position by position to produce the most authoritative and comprehensive list yet. So guys, we're going to talk about the right backs now and everybody seems to agree that Danny Carvajal is the undisputed number one. Agree with that? I would agree with that. I think looking at this list, it's possibly one of the weakest lists out of the ones we've got because I'll agree he's, he's number one, but we were looking through the list now, we're saying quite a few of these can't actually defend, can they? It's about being it's an added winger, right it's about creating chances, <laughs> and that's why, you know, Q and Trippier, more chances created than any other player at the World Cup in the summer, mm. you know, be it Kevin De Bruyne, being it Evdin Hazard, Great chances. crosser, isn't he? Great, great crosser, crosser great set, pl set, set piece player, mm. and that was what the summer was all about, about set pieces, wasn't it? It was the love train that England had, and he was a big part of that, so, you know, I think Trippier, you, you look back on the sort of early Spurs Pochettino team of Rose and Walker, I said Trippier's really kind of come in and made that his own. His former Spurs teammate Walker is there, but we saw him playing, what, as a centre back? At yeah, the World Cup. Oh, yeah. Did, right centre back. Yeah. Distinguishing himself doing that. Yeah, yeah, he did. He got fouled out just a couple of times, didn't mm. he, from positionally? He's got uh, the pace. Carl though. Walker, got the pace, yeah. notably with that uh, Perisic goal yeah. in the semi. Yeah. It's interesting to see in that list a lot of them can play or actually playing in other positions. Joshua mm. Kimmich, who is second on our list and deservedly so, I think. Sergio Roberto. Plays, plays as a centre midfielder for, for Germany. You know, mm. him and Toni Kroos, but yet with his club at Bayern Munich, he plays as a right back. Sergio Roberto is a defensive mm. midfielder. That Barcelona have moved the right back because they were a bit short in that position. Mm. Uh, Benjamin Pavard, who was yes, so good well. in the World Cup, is a centre back before being a right back. And it's only Didier Deschamps who played him at right back, and he obviously can do a job there, but that's not his. One is not his favourite position. He's the guy, that, he's the guy that came from nowhere, isn't he? It, is he, is he there just because of that goal at the World Cup? I mean, it deserves it, but does he actually play well regularly? If he doesn't play right back in his club. That's why we're saying he plays a centre back for Stuttgart. And he's more of a centre back than a right back. However, he had a, he had a good World Cup, apart maybe from the first half against uh, Belgium mm -hmm. in that semi-final where Eden Hazard just gave me a torrid time. But apart from that first half, he was very good or to that World Cup a position that is not really his, so I think he deserved fourth is good because mm. I'm not sure he really has a future as a right How back. is Danny Alves at fifth? I didn't I mean, vote for that, him, it's not me because <laughs> don't look at me like this. Well, you, you're, 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 not pensioning, that you're pensioning off Danny but, Alves now. Uh, Danny Alves is a legend, I think. I don't yeah, care, but, I mean, he's not good enough yeah, anymore to be an all-time list. We're it's not picking it on celebrity or <laughs> what they did over and over. Singing in his years. car. It's yeah. meant to be a 2018 kind of thing, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, exactly. looking at this list, the PSG have clearly blessed their right back, Jules, because there's Alves there and there's Thomas Munier. If you want to win the Champions League like we do, you need two right backs in your ESPN 100 top 10. Mm. That's what you need to I do. mean, I think we should be looking at right backs who can also defend because, I mean, maybe that's me being a bit old-fashioned, but... You do need that, don't you? I mean, there's a tendency now to go for right backs who are great bombing forward. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, that's one of the. I mean, I look at this list and there's one glaring omission, and that's Cancelo, there, who didn't go to the World Cup with Portugal, mm. but fantastic with Inter uh, first second half of last season, and then convinced Juventus to sign him, and he's been brilliant. Massimiliano Allegri calling him the best right back in the world, and he's not there. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. Next year. <laughs> yeah. you, you've talked him in, I think. And we'll see. But I suppose right backs who can defend, Juan Fran. You've got to defend if you're Diego Simeone. Yeah. Full back, haven't you? That's true. And four, four Spaniards as well yeah. in the top 10. Four Spaniards, which clearly is a depth of squad at that position than a lot of other countries or, or clubs mm. don't have. Yeah, so I would pick out Aspilicueta as a, a Spaniard. He, you know, mm. he's been so consistent at Chelsea. Yeah. Seven, eight out of ten every week, isn't he? Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'd, I'd move Great him crosser up. of the ball. As yeah, well. quite high up. I'm, I'm with you on that, Joe. Yeah. yeah, he could he could be a little bit higher. But we're all agreed, I think, that uh, the number one, number two is Danny Carvajal.